Hey there guys, this is Skippy here from Skippy6 Gaming coming to you with uh, another episode of Farming 101. You'll notice we're in my Farmville land and in this one here it's getting a little dark but I don't mind because this one has to do with mushroom farming and mushroom farming we're going to need low light so we're just going to jump on in here and, and take a look. This is just a little entrance area I have set off for uh for my little mushroom farm area it just goes into my main little house kitchen there um, and here I just kinda set up something just to start us off and show you before I show you on the other side make a bigger version um, this is my mushroom farm area so for now it's small but I only put maybe like three here like I don't know a couple hours ago whatever it builds up to this but the key to mushroom farming guys you only get the t two types this one in this world and you find these ones in the nether as well um, they need to be in low light to grow so you'll see what I have right here about the third block up I find is the nice level for the the farming again you know t take a look on Google there's different ones I mean I when I looked into it oh, this depending if you're on PC, Xbox, PlayStation, all the different ones, you know, I found that the rules were different and uh, to, p to help you grow faster or slower. I'm just going to jump into bed here, keep a creeper from blowing my whole darn farm right up. And yeah, as you'll notice, I'm on survival as always in my farmville. Um, if I'm going to do something, I'm going to try to benefit from it, of course. So let's go ahead and show you how to make this mushroom farm. So notice low lighting, two types of mushrooms. Here we go. I'm going to head on over here. So basically, you really need low lighting because if you put light next to a mushroom, it just pops out of the ground. So you can't have that. You really can't. You need to have medium lighting like this, not pitch black. So mushroom farm area, this is the area I've designated as what I was going to do. This whole kind of cutout in the wall. Um, I'm going to make this my mushroom farm. So the one thing that I've seen when I was looking into it, so now basically, Online, the, the few different people that have done the different mushroom farms are going to do, they say that they put it on dirt and then they use fence posts and because there's supposed to be a certain distance and a shadow and again the rules are different everywhere so I'm going to show you how to make it. Play with the different, play with the different settings. I try, I find putting a few blocks of dirt in the mix actually does help you get mushrooms faster. Um, how much faster or you know whether it scientifically or minecraft scientifically actually works that way I don't know but I do find putting dirt blocks in helps you out so I'm gonna go ahead and throw kind of like a random dirt block pattern kind of like this so yeah I did I know for sure after some testing that it doesn't really it does help having these dirt blocks here so what we're gonna do is throw random Again, when you're making your mushroom farm, if if you're really specific on it, you really want to look into it, you want to make the entrances and exits like this, kind of down a hall and around. If you don't, then the light comes in, it kind of hinders it, what you're doing. Um, so for these two, I'm just going to go ahead and, and dig up. I hope I haven't ripped apart this survival land too much. That's okay. We'll go ahead and uh, I'll just put one in there. And then we'll close this up. So let's just go ahead and put this one in there you go exactly what I wanted so the mushroom stays you know the lights perfect so I'm gonna try to mix a blend so but notice how this mushroom it just won't go there it goes there behind the box a little bit but I'm gonna do just a few more of these and let's get some of these red mammer jammers going on top in between and there Go. Again, this room is really poorly lit. I kind of do that on purpose because this is the entrance into my base. And so ultimately, I could just put mushrooms everywhere where they kind of stick on the ground in this area. Um, but again, the main key of this tutorial is that you want the lighting to be partial. So you're going to be digging out about three. If it can be in the third block, that's perfect, just like this one right here. I find that it, that works very well. Um, does that go up to the. Oh, it's dirt. Okay. So the third block is the perfect way to do it. Um, I'm going to just throw a few more down here. And there you go. Mushrooms are really good. You can get mushroom stew. You can have all of that stuff. Um, and then ultimately what you want to do when you do this is just make sure that the light is lower. This light can't, can't be there. It's a little bit off. And then for me too, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and, and it's kind of like a strategy I use in my survival world. 
I just want, I really want to lay these mushrooms down. I don't, you know, keeping them in a chest somewhere doesn't help. But if you were to throw in every little corner with low light, then you can go right ahead and do that. And then you know what? You're gonna, they're just gonna make more mushrooms if they're here. It's better than sitting stale and, and, uh, and there you go. So in this one here, I'm just gonna go and dust off these last few big, big lights because it has just enough light. The lighting is three deep up. You have a mushroom farm. These are going to spawn. You know they're not they're not growing like wheat. I'll tell you that much. But they do grow pretty fast. Um, these ones up here, like I said, I put three a little while ago, and I cut a couple down. So play around with it, guys. If you think there's a specific way, or you know of a specific way, like the guy that I saw always did these straight lines like this with fence posts in between them, thinking, and you know what? That's he sounded like you know knew what he was talking about, but. For me, I don't need that many mushrooms. Uh, you can always go ahead and throw a few little bits of water, like uh, kind of like a semi-auto wheat farm, but just a semi-auto mushroom farm and, and kind of make it. But again, I don't want to dil dilly-dally with that with these blocks because then where the water goes is going to be all messed up. But Okay, guys, if you like the video, hit that like button underneath. Um, and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of Farming 101 tutorials and lots of other game videos as well. Um, thanks again for tuning in. I'll check. Oh, God.